honey locusts are pretty cool in that they um, they developed alongside uh, woolly mammoths and giant ground sloths and their defense mechanism to keep them off of their seed pod is this nasty, nasty needle. Mm -hmm. And this tree, one, these make it really nice and easy to identify when there's no leaves. Um, you know, I probably would have walked by this tree if I hadn't seen one of these down low. Um, Cause it kind of looks like the hackberry with the smooth, you know, a, a smoother barked hackberry walking by it. Um, when these have been browsed uh, by deer or, or impacted in other ways, they can throw a full, like, bushy thorn structure that's almost impenetrable mm -hmm. and it's pretty nuts and so the that was to keep the giant ground sloths and the woolly mammoths from destroying them mm -hmm. and then likewise we've got osage orange which is the hedge apple mm -hmm. um, it, it produces it's a relative of the mulberry it produces basically this gigantic softball sized mulberry mm -hmm. and those also uh, evolved along with the giant ground sloths and the woolly mammoths. And really those were the ones that were spreading the seeds and they almost went extinct uh, until uh, people decided to plant them for hedgerows.